Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another <laughs> like video in the drawers. We're gonna be talking about my eyeshadow palette collection. Now I'm not gonna go in depth with the swatches and all this stuff because I have reviews on almost all of this stuff. If you're new here, hi, my name's Anna. I upload five days a week, but right now I'm doing Vlogmas. So um, right now I'm uploading every single day in the month of December. And I look like a mess, <laughs> so you're not gonna see my face, but I really wanted to go through and show you my eyeshadow palette collection. I have three drawers and then I have like a eye drawer that has other things in it related to eyes and I have some smaller palettes in there. So just subscribe and ring the bell and let's get started. Now if any of you are <laughs> brave enough to count, let me know and uh, let me know how many palettes I have, I guess. I have some palettes kind of like hiding in the back here, so I just decided to pull them out. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go right down the line. Shit. The first one I have is the Hocus Pocus 2 from ColourPop. It is the All Hallows Eve palette. Next we have the ColourPop Not A Box Of Chocolates. Oh, so beautiful. Next we have this beauty. This is the ColourPop Star Wars palette. I love this artwork in here. This is also like a beautiful, beautiful palette. They came out with like a fairy collection not too long ago and I have both of these palettes. This is the Enchanted palette, beautiful purples. And then we have the Fairy Well palette. This is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Next I have the ColourPop, oh, this is the original Gather Round Sisters um, Hocus Pocus palette. Next I have the Disney Designer palette. This is an oldie, but such a goodie. Next I have the Villains Misunderstood palette. Then we have the Disney Midnight Masquerade palette with ColourPop. Look at the artwork in here too. Next I have the Malibu Barbie palette. This is the ColourPop and Powerpuff Girls collaboration. <laughs> Super cute. Um, I used to love watching the Powerpuff Girls when I was little. We have the ColourPop Limoncello palette. This is a great staple for your collection especially if you like yellows and warm tones. We have the Lizzie McGuire What Dreams Are Made Of palette. Oh, so cute. We have the ColourPop Witching Hour palette. This was their second collaboration. We have the ColourPop Roaring Hearts. This is beautiful. We have the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer palette. Oh, I love this. I have the Give Me ColourPop Give Me Butterflies palette. This was a gift from one of my friends and I'm never gonna get rid of this. I love it so much. The um, ColourPop Winnie the Pooh Sweet As Can Be palette. I hope they do another color um, collaboration with Winnie the Pooh because this is really cute. All right, now we're gonna get into some of my smaller ColourPop palettes. As you can tell, my ColourPop is all stored together for the most part. We have the ColourPop Secret Admirer palette. This was the Valentine's Day collection, so cute. I have the ColourPop By The Rose. Again, beautiful. We have the ColourPop Wanna Be. Oh my gosh, so good for spring. I have the Mandalorian palette. The child palette, I should say. <laughs> I have the Lorea Sunshine palette. Such a nice palette for summer and fall. I have the Elsa, Frozen 2 Elsa palette. And then I have the Frozen 2 Anna palette. I have these three right here that came in a set together. So um, Aura and Out is more green. Miss Bliss is uh, like peachy tone. Then In a Trance is purples and blues. We have the Mandalorian palette, the Fine Feathered palette, the High Tide palette, is the ColourPop So Fly palette, came with the Wannabe palette, or came out at the same time as them. And then we have the Tinkerbell Sprinkle a Little Magic palette. So next I have the Animal Crossing palettes from ColourPop. These are so cute. So you have Nook Ink, this one is What a Hoot, this one is Five Star Island, and this is the bell of the ball. I have four little Hello Kitty quads. So this one is Coco Cutie, beautiful blues. This one is Cherry Sweet. This one is Teeny Keeny, nice orange. And then this one is Pineapple Cake. Such beautiful colors. These are so good, by the way. Next we have the Lorac Noir palette. This is amazing. So, so good. Then I have the Lorac Fairy Tale Forest palette. The Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Second Slice palette. My newest palette from Anastasia, this is the Rose Metals palette. Oh, so good. This is the Anastasia Nouveau palette. Absolutely love this. This is the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate palette. This is their most recent chocolate palette launch. 
This is the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl palette. This is the Coca-Cola and Morphe Cherry Coke palette. I tried this out in like a testing TJ Maxx makeup video. I need to try it again. Favorite Naked palette, Urban Decay Naked Honey. This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. This is the Urban Decay Wild Greens palette. Oops, I gotta get in the frame there. This is really fun. I did a video on this. The packaging is just so different from what we've originally seen. We have the Disney Alice in Wonderland Sigma palette. Beautiful, beautiful. The Sigma Cinderella palette. I have the Disney Lion King Sir John X Luminous palette. I'm gonna get into my Huda Beauty palettes. This is the Mercury Retrograde love this might be my favorite one i don't know i love them all this is the huda beauty rose quartz palette oh my gosh so good i got this last year from logan for christmas and this is so good this is the huda beauty naughty palette oh my god so good this is the newest launch from um huda beauty it's the empowered palette absolutely love these golds this is the Too faced tartlet full bloom palette i reviewed this last vlogmas this is one of my favorite Tarte palettes. Next we have some palettes that we're hiding kind of back here. So we have the Laura Lee Los Angeles Candy Skies. Love, love. We have the Nudie Patootie palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I have the Huda Beauty New Nude palette. Again, absolutely stunning. We have the OG Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. Love this. This might be my favorite Too Faced palette. And then we have the Jaclyn Cosmetics Strawberry Feels palette. We have the ColourPop and Muppets Holidays, Holidays, Holidays palette. This is so hard to store because it's such an odd size where like it's just too tall to fit in my drawers. So we have to like lay it down. So we have the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 1 palette one of the best neutral palettes around in my opinion and then we have the patrick ta major dimension 2 palette i'm a sucker for like pinky eyeshadows so this is amazing um i just reorganized this drawer so um there's gonna be some fumbles throughout but hopefully we can kind of manage it accordingly so in here we have the tarte man eater palette at man eater after dark palette this is so good get your hands on this I wear it all the time. We have my only glam light palette. It's the um, Barbie Dream Summer palette. This is so good. Next we have the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette. This is rainbow. For now I'm gonna go through my Huda palettes here. These are like the mini. I have the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. This is so good. I have the Huda Beauty Nude Light. I have the Huda Beauty Love Fest. This is probably my favorite. I have the Huda Beauty Pastels Mint. I have the four gemstone obsessions, so I have ruby obsessions, emerald obsessions, <laughs> sapphire obsessions, and amethyst obsessions. Next I have the peeps and hip dot palette. Then we have the Morphe 9P palette. Too Faced Yummy Gummy palette. So nice. These two Tarte palettes came in a set. So I have the Glamour, okay, and then we have the Gilded. So good. These are so good. If you can get your hands on these, do it. I have the Juvia's Place Garden of Juvia's palette. I have the Tartlet and Bloom palette. One of my favorites. Next we have the Lorac Maraca palette. I have the Pure Barbie palette. It's just so pretty. Elf and Jay Kissa to the Rescue palette. All rainbows. And then we have the Tarte and Aspen Ovard palette, which, oh my gosh, this is so good. Now I'm going to pull all these out. So we're, as soon as I mention the palette, we'll move it back here. First one we have is the BH Cosmetics Mimosa palette. We're gonna go through a bunch of BH Cosmetics palettes. We have the Love in London palette. This is a really good formula. Smitten in Switzerland. Summer in St. Tropez. The Avocado Toast palette, which isn't my favorite. I feel like I could get rid of that. Party in Puerto Rico palette. Passion in Paris palette. The Hangin' in Hawaii palette. And finally, we have the Beautiful in Barcelona palette. So nice. Next, I have these two little palettes from Too Faced. I don't know what they're called. This one has a fox on it. <laughs> these are really nice. But I just don't know what they're called. And this one has a little bear on it. There are some Wet n Wild palettes I have. So we have the 
a Wet n Wild Little Twin Stars Cotton Candy Clouds palette. Then we have the Wet n Wild Caring Counts palette. This is the Care Bear collaboration. This is the Wet n Wild and Stitch Ohana palette. This is really cute too. And we have the Peanuts and Wet n Wild Merry Christmas Charlie Brown palette. This is the Ulta Beauty Collection and Thor Love and Thunder palette. This is the Essence Villains Ursula palette. This is the Tarte Unleashed palette. This is the Tarte Adelaine Morin palette. This is the Tarte High Tides and Good Vibes palette. Oh my gosh. This is nice. Tasha Denona Sunrise palette. Super pretty. And then we have the Tartlet palette. So I have Tartlet and Bloom. Oldie but a goodie. And then we have Tartlet Toasted. Next we have the Morphe 35A Up Till Dawn palette. This is really nice. Morphe did something with their formula. Morphe 35XS No Silent Nights palette. Really beautiful. This is the Juvia's Place Culture palette. This is a nice formula right here. This is the Too Faced Natural Lust palette. Again, just beautiful. This is the Morphe and Maddie Ziegler The Imagination palette. This is the Urban Decay Marvel Eternals palette, which, oh my gosh, I forgot you opened this up first, and this comes up, and then... There we go. This is the Catrice Vill Disney Villains Maleficent palette. Super fun. Did a video on that. This is a sing like a singles palette I have from Laura Lee Los Angeles. These are Laura Lee Los Angeles shadows and these are from Ofra. Next I have the ColourPop It's a Mood palette. This is a mood. This is so good. And then we have the Harry Potter and ColourPop. I don't know if this has like a specific name. Oh, the Back to Hogwarts palette. Yes, that's right. <laughs> this is the best I can position the camera right now. <laughs> Whole eyeshadow palette drawer before we get into like my other eye drawer, like I mentioned. First, I have these really cute little palettes from Too Faced. This is Berry Merry Christmas. This is Sugar Plum Cookie. And this is Totally Bananas. Next, I have three large um, BH Cosmetics palettes. Now, I'm really bummed that they didn't come out with a holiday collection this year. This is the Miss Claus The Lit List palette. This is so good. So good. This is the BH Cosmetics, Cosmetics Doja Cat palette. This is also pretty nice, but I like the holiday formula more. And this is the Naughty palette from BH Cosmetics. Some random palettes in here. I put the Too Faced Ginger Red Extra Spicy in here. This can actually go in a different drawer. The Lorac Beauty and the Beast Tale as Old as Time palette. This is one of those palettes like, I would not want to get rid of. I have three other little Too Faced palettes. <laughs> this one has a raccoon on it. <laughs> this one has a deer on it. And then this one has a swan on it. This is the Besame and Sleeping Beauty 1959 collection. I wanted this so badly. Um, I am a huge Sleeping Beauty fan. This is more for like a collector's purpose, but it has like the exact shades that they used for the 60th anniversary and like, oh, this is just so beautiful. Logan got this for me for Christmas and I will never part with this. This is so good. And I even keep, I even keep the box, which usually I don't, but I had to. Okay. I have three Morphe palettes. This is the 39S. This might get decluttered in my next declutter round. Sorry, I'm not in the frame, <laughs> but we'll see. Next is the Morphe and James Charles palette. While I do not support him, Logan bought this for me and I will never get rid of it. This one is so beautiful. This is the 39A from Morphe. And then I have a couple other Morphe palettes. So this is my OG Jaclyn Hill palette. My friend Elgin bought this for me and I'm never getting rid of it for that reason. Next I have the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette from Morphe. Again, very pretty. Next I have the Jaclyn Cosmetic, no, the Jaclyn Hill Vault with Morphe. Um, this one is Ring the Alarm. This one is Bling Boss. This one is Dark Magic. And this one is Armed and Gorgeous. Now I have all six of the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes. These aren't available anymore, but I still love them. <laughs> this is this um, Cotton Candy palette, uh, Pistachio palette, the Orange Sorbet palette, the Sugar Cone palette, the shade is beautiful, the Bubble Gum palette, Cherry on Top palette. I did a dedicated video on each one of these. This is my final drawer of eyeshadow. And in here is like 
mini palettes, um, just smaller like quads and stuff. So yeah, that's what this drawer is all about. I'll just start right here. This was from a Too Faced holiday set. And just look at those glitters. These are my Morphe 2 palettes. Um, I have, let's see, Palm Springs. These are the Ready and 5 palettes. These are really nice. Um, and this is from Hawaii with Love. This is the Elf Game Up palette. Nice bright rainbow. This is the Elf Cookies and Dreams palette. And this, oh, this is the Disney um, and Ulta Beauty Collection eyeshadow palette that I got in this. This is the Essence My Rose Will Go On. Such a nice formula. I have two little Essence Mini Pro palettes. Oh, these are <laughs> these are the rock. <laughs> um, this is Winter Rose, and this is Frosted Sequoia. I have three ColourPop quads in here. Um, the first one is Citrus Fizz. This one is Sorbet. This one, these two, my friend Michaela got me when she's my maid of honor. So these are never gonna be gone. <laughs> I recently got this one. This was bare. This is bare at all. Back here we have slightly larger palettes. We have Salted Caramel from Too Faced. Oh, that's so good. Especially if you like warm tones. This is Christmas Coffee from Too Faced. Oh no, we have a broken piece. And this one is this year's holiday palette, which I have already reviewed. It's up on my channel. This is the Secret Santa palette. Three Bambi and ColourPop palettes. These are just little small ones but they're so cute this one is the bambi palette then we have flower this one's my favorite then we have thumper quads these are from the mint melt collection this one is in the shade mint to be and this one is chocolate mint i also have the three elf and duncan palettes these are adorable this one is boston cream i love how they even like made the outside like that one is strawberry frosted with sprinkles <laughs> So cute. And then we have chocolate frosted with sprinkles. Next I have the Natasha Denona Mini Lila palette. So good. And finally, I have the Natasha Denona Peak palette. This was from a BoxyCharm. Now I am not mentioning any palettes that I had in like a memory drawer. I don't really count those as like part of my collection. Um, but yeah, if you counted the whole way through, let me know. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have not already, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!